I was raised in church, literally from a very young age, and it was not a healthy church on the avenue of it was very rule centric and very as I grew up asking questions I realized that they didn't believe in asking questions you were just supposed to follow so it led to a very dark period in my life where I just decided I can't be good enough for this I can't follow all these rules and I, I wish at that point somebody had told me that that's the whole point of what Jesus did but they didn't it was more about the rules You know, we came from kind of similar circumstances. Maybe that's why we met. <laughs> uh, but I was, you know, raised uh, my, by my parents who, uh, when they got into church, we got into a, what we thought was a really good church. And when Lee and I met, um, I think we were both not in a good place, but the places were similar and we became friends and Little did we know that that journey would lead us to each other in a deeper relationship, but we both kind of felt like we wanted to get back in the church, but we were really scared. What they say is true, raise a child up in the way and they won't depart from it. They may depart, but they'll find their way back. It is very difficult for me to go to like new buildings, new things, new churches, because you're automatically taking me into a new situation where I'm not familiar with anything. And I'm sitting there going, I can't see. I can't. It, it becomes overwhelming. The comfort and the familiarity of being in my living room and looking at that TV, it, for me, has been a godsend much like you reading the Bible online because I can have the black page with the right white writing for me to see it that this has very much created a comfort zone for me because it's very distressing when you're not comfortable in a situation because you don't feel secure gosh where you are church the community the community um, has been the most surprising part, but the most endearing part. Um, you you wonder, people think I'm crazy when I talk about the fact that I'm part of a church where I am, where you are, <laughs> and yet you look forward to uh, seeing those people show up. You sometimes, because they've shared it, shared the struggles they're going through. And at the same time, you've shared your own struggles and they are back wanting to know, how are those struggles? Where are you in this? Because they've been praying for you the whole week. I mean, and, and as crazy as it sounds, we're talking as the music is going and we're worshiping, we're talking about what we had for breakfast and you know who had pancakes. Oh, and I only had oatmeal. It feels like this huge family, it really is this dynamic of being a family atmosphere. You become committed in what they're going through in their lives, which sometimes takes you out of the element of what you're going through in your own life. I find that when I can pray or talk or or talk to God more so about, God, this is, this is what I'm looking for today, but instead I'm going, God, you know, you know, Miss Gwen or this person or that person, they're really looking for this today. They're really struggling. Maybe they're struggling with their relationships with their kids. I've been there. So it's such a strong community that, man, it wasn't just me that had those problems. I don't think anybody wants to be alone. I think there's a lot of social anxiety out there. I think people are fearful of being judged for one thing or another. You're not pretty enough, you don't dress this way, but they are looking for their community. 
I'm the person that I am. I'm, I'm going to meet you. I don't, I don't know a stranger. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to tell you, hey, how are you? It's why I love where I live now. But it's weird. You know how you go into a place and you're looking for somebody. And I find that as I'm scrolling, I'm looking, is this person here? Is that person here? And then maybe they show up five minutes later and you're like, oh my goodness. And you find yourself responding to exclamation points of, hey, look, they're here. And to even feel like that they remembered you or that they look forward to seeing you. And I compare it to, you know, when we, when we do see Jesus one day, that, you know, you're going to be running, you know, running to him like, here I am because he knows you. And this scenario, this family of where you are, we have never met personally, but our hearts meet every single week in this platform. And, and, and it doesn't matter how bad or how good, it doesn't matter about today's society who only wants you when you're a certain way. These people are learning how to practice what God says. And there is no greater love than that. And you don't know it though, until you experience it.